this is the old Mini Cooper here, and this is Griffin. And I, this guy, I don't even, you, you've seen him in videos before where we had to replace, what was that? The, the air, air filter, filter with a two by four, and I'll put a link above that to show you that. But anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyhow, long story short is we brought it in here because the clutch went out, and uh, and it turns out that in the Mini Cooper, it's a pain in the butt. So all you gotta do is you gotta unbolt the motor and transmission from the subframe. You have to hang the engine from the top, remove the subframe, which holds the engine and transmission, steering, sway bar, and brakes. <laughs> and then you have to remove the transmission, pull it out, replace everything, stick it back up there, and throw everything back together. And they don't make it easy. No, and then while we had it all out, this guy gets this genius idea to charge me more money <laughs> that, <laughs> that while we got it all out, we might as well replace the starter too, which I think was a pretty good idea. And uh, so that's what they got done. It's been kind of, we're in Baker City, Oregon, so it's kind of a pain to get parts. And and uh, if it wasn't for the part deal, they'd had this already done in a couple of days, but we're always having to can get I the parts. A, and can I make a suggestion? Yeah, make a suggestion. If you ever decide to do this, if you can, Get the parts, order them about a month in advance. Because <laughs> it really takes about a month to get the parts. Because it wasn't just the fact of getting the parts, it's the fact that these people here know that you need the parts and know that they've got them, so they pretty much charge double, maybe not quite double, but the, uh, so it's been kind a good, of a- A good third. A good third, maybe. They, the good thing is, while it was all undone, they found uh, some of the, won't you explain that as far as the uh, seals, some of the seals were bad. Uh, you his, placed... tran his transverse seals, they're sitting over there on the floor. Okay, those were leaking, right? Yeah. And what about the uh, the half shafts, were they leaking? No. No, so that's all good there. Um, Transverses look good, CVs. Okay, uh, CV joints look good. Yeah, everything else looks pretty decent. So they went through, while we had it all undone, they went through with the fine tooth comb and kind of figured everything out and and we did change the oil filter oh oil filter and oil that's good not just oil filter right well, well the oil filter is that's yeah you gotta take the whole front clip off to change the oil filter what they do i've had them do it before they push the radiator back to get to the oil filter at a regular oil shop it's a pain so anyhow that was not fun uh but anyhow we're doing it all they're done pretty much they just kind of Got to put all the front end back on. No big deal. Just put the front end back in there. It's easy. Yep. And this guy right here, I'm going to introduce you to him right here. This is the guy that makes all this happen. This is why I come here. I trust him, and I just am grateful for his friendship. That's Dino right there. Dino. <laughs> he looks like he's in, the, he's in the sun. He looks like, look at him. He looks like a cowboy coming in here. What's going on in this place right here? <laughs> Keeps this thing moving. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep us going, keep us rolling, keep us moving. So, anyhow, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on the Baker City project of the Mini Cooper, right? All right. So today we've got a deal out in uh, out at Ruta, the Ruta Ranch, and we're gonna go have fun do that and let these guys finish their their work. I'm just so grateful for it. Thanks, guys.
It's really kind of sad as we were coming up to see this amazing lake. I stopped off at a like rest area just to stretch and everything and this motorcycle guy comes up and pulls off and he's waiting there about 10 minutes and then here comes his wife kind of straggling behind which means that he was probably driving much faster than her and then they take off again and he's just kind of driving cocky crazy and we come around this bend and there he is laid out motorcycle wrecked and it seems like now what they've done is they're bringing in the metacopter it's just kind of sad when we drove by though he was uh moving his hands and extremities so but you never know it's just kind of sad it's such a beautiful day and then it ends like that you know mm. It's always kind of funny to me that people think that, man, I want to jump on the road and travel around the country and see all the romantic places our country has to offer. I wanted to show you one of our spots here. So beautiful, clean, in <laughs> Baker City, Oregon. And uh, But I'm so grateful. This is my buddy, Dean Spence, and this is his shop right here off to the side right there, Dean Spence. Believe it or not, it's a mining supply company. <laughs> they still mining in the mountains up here. And uh, he just has the perfect little hookup for us with 50 amp and, and uh, sewer and water. And we are grateful. And they're gonna have to move these things. And our car is right over there in that shop right there. That's just insane. Good gravy, that's so much work. Oh, okay. That's yeah, bad. that's pretty bad. That was about to be bad anyhow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm glad we could get to that one. Right. So like, I mean, basically, yeah, it's basically like a normal transmission, but everything's sideways. Oh, okay. Got it. So that's the front of the engine. Right. You know, turbo's in the front over there. Okay. And then and there's the flywheel there's starter. There's one shaft that comes out this way, and then there's another shaft that sits by it like that. Oh, okay. That's this. Okay. Huh. So interesting. Yeah, there's like a little differential right here too. Little... Yeah, you can't really tell anything from looking yeah. in there. Does that flywheel look straight at all? You can't really tell that until you lay it down and measure it. Right. Huh. So we're in Baker City, Oregon. Apparently, they're having a parade today. It's an interesting thing. We're just walking down the street and you run into a parade. While we were in Baker City, Oregon, we had about five different opportunities for ministry. But my favorite was this. We went to a halfway house for women where Gail was able to minister to these young ladies. Just sit back and listen to her heart on display right here. The enemy will come in and try to plant those seeds. You know, and you're just like, yeah, you know what, that's right. Yep, yep, that's right. And I remember that, and yep, yep, okay, well let's just go over here, let's just do this. Or let's call so-and-so, let's just do that, you know what I mean? And it's just so easy, but just remember, like I said, God sticks closer than a brother, so you can like, no, I'm not doing that. I know where that comes from. I'm not doing that. I'm going to change my channel. I'm going to get up. I'm going to change the location. I'm going to do whatever because those triggers, you know. So anyway, just know that I really care. And I, I'm sincere about it because I know that 
it takes it, it takes a village. You know, they say that about raising your kids, but it also takes a village to be able to overcome and to keep walking. You know what I mean? So I just want to I love that. Thank you. You're welcome.